Today I thought I'd bring you along as I have decorated over the past week for Christmas in my home. It took many days to do such things, um, pulling all the different things out I wanted, changing out my decor a little bit to a more simple style as well, changing out my tree decor that had been the same for oh the past four or five years. So I'm just bringing you along on little snippets of what I do throughout the past week. Hope you enjoy. Maybe you're decorating for Christmas, maybe you're not yet. Let me know in the comments below. But I love the added coziness and lights and Christmas ambiance and everything that it brings during this time of year when it gets dark so fast. So come along with me um, as I decorate and I'll be showing you a full house reveal later, maybe breaking it up into sections like our living space and then our kitchen. So let's go decorate. Fall decor is down for the most part with some of our real pumpkins. I still have some outside. I really had it pared down, so pretty minimal with what I have to um, store. So I won't even need a full tote, which is wonderful. And I might get, those are the fake ones. I might even get rid of a few things. There are always little spaces and little touches in my home there. I like to add light and Christmas trees. So I have four Christmas trees. Some might be little, just like this one that I put in my crate. Um, then I have my large one, a medium sized one, and another one I'm gonna figure out where to put. But I love just the glow that lights bring to a house, even if our space is small and just getting that decorated and then adding a little touch to that chair with a blue scarf that I had out in our front porch. But um, when you end up watching my final home decor, I ended up changing more of this around as well. So this is just a trial and error. I thought you would maybe enjoy seeing how I experimented with different things, what I did for um, decorating in some spaces and then how it actually looks in um, probably a couple weeks when I share my home decor tour for you. This is another space I love decorating, my rack there. This is just so simple, having some greenery I found, thrifted, and then some beautiful white stockings that I got off of Amazon last year. And I just love the simplicity of it and just how wintry and cozy that feels. So Christmas tree time, I put it over in our, what's called the dining room space. And so I have to rearrange furniture. I feel like most people have to rearrange furniture to um, put up a tree. And we do have a large tree. A narrow tree would probably work better in our space, but we got it from Walmart a couple years ago for like $30 at the end of the season. So it is what it is. And I decorate it just with pieces that um, I find beautiful for my home. And then since having a baby, we have a baby swing there too. So it does get a little crowded in that corner. Christmas tree I went with more of a silver gold and wood type look this time um, I've had like red checkered and um, rustic looking previously but I really kind of wanted to change it up like I said it had been five years since I'd really changed it up and they were all Dollar Tree pieces anyway so I wanted to update it a little bit and so anything I purchased new I'll link it on um, the description box for you because I did get a few new things from Amazon.
built-ins. Now this is a place that took a lot of rearranging and shifting and I added some pops of this pink red color. I found these dishes at a garage sale this summer for $4 and I just love how they are. Um, that Christmas me Christmassy vintage vibe that I like to have on these built-ins here that I have. So just adding some of that with my other ironstone pieces, adding some greens, keeping some eucalyptus, and yeah, it was just fun to experiment with what I was doing on these shelves. This greenery, I had two of them last year around my kitchen um, sliding French doors and I purchased another one from Walmart. They're $15. They look so real and I just love the real look without having the pine that falls off all the time and so I did that on my piano this year and then just added a string of lights. Again, just going with the greenery. I love to keep it really just more natural looking with the decor. Some greens, some pine cone, of course, holding the baby while I decorate. <laughs> Here's just a little sneak peek of what some of my areas turned out to look like. So definitely stay tuned a couple weeks down the road here to see my full Christmas home decor tour. I'll talk with you in the next video.